Right, we're going to have a go at adjusting the ride height on our Range Rover L322. So obviously on the L322 using the IID gap diagnostics tool. Right, quick thing to start with. So the car, as it comes from the factory, you've got three modes. You can lower it, which they call access mode, I believe. And there we go. Yeah, and you can put that. We'll, we'll show you how to use that in a minute when we start it up. Uh, and then there's a standard mode, which you can drive along the motorway out and then there's the off-road mode where you go up and obviously if you've got rutty ground it, it helps you clear now but if you go over a certain speed in either access or off-road it'll always set you back to default it's like yeah no. and it comes up with a warning on the dash slow down or normal height will be selected so you've got to do and there is one other weird thing if you lower it and it hits an obstacle um, it goes into that super extended mode, doesn't it? I think, yeah, it, yeah, it does. Go, yeah, so, so that's the basic, basic thing. Now, so you've got three modes. So, we'll, we'll, uh, so if my fingers represent that, this is the raise mode, this is the normal motorway road driving mode, and that's the um, access mode. If you reprogram with the IID tool, you can lower them, but all three will shift down, or you can raise the calibration, but all three will lift up um, so we're going to show you how to do that but you can save different profiles so we could sort of create a like low cruiser profile and we could create a sort of um, big truck stance profile so we're gonna have a go at doing that right let's get on with it everyone's getting bored already right so there's your little um, IID Bluetooth thing so you stick that into the ODB2 port which is under here straight up in there I can never get this in when I try Let's have a look. I got it the right way around now, and it should light up when I get it in the. When I get it connected correctly. There you go. Some little lights going on. Then you download the app, and I've done the. I've done a thing of how you install it all and everything. Um, so we go into the Gap Diagnostics, um, search for a tool. Okay. And we've already paired this up and everything, so it should so load it's, pretty it's all, quick. It's all pretty good, right? So we're going to go into. Oh, look, height. Height control or height adjust. I can't remember which one. I'm going to go Try height, one. height adjust. Right, yeah, this is it. So at the moment we're in that. Oh, look. Now that. Ah, so this is, this so is interesting. I think your three settings are saved to your tool. To your tool. This is interesting because I use the same tool which I've got set up on my Discovery 3. And I wanted to, uh, to have it low for the ferry because they were trying to charge me extra because of the height. So I tried to sort of fiddle that on the car ferry. So um, it, it looks like it's got an error in here. So can I go into default? Let's have a look. So the default is telling me we got zero, zero and zero, zero. So there's no offset, no bias from the factory defaults. So let's have a look what low rider. Oh, look, I was really going for it there. Well, that's one of your modes by the looks yeah. of it. Um, so should we see if we so can... that's minus 18 on the front and minus 29 on the rear. So what were you thinking, Ian? You were I, trying... think that, I think that was as low as we could possibly go with the, with the settings. Right, now, can we? how do we adjust that then? Can we, or is it error is never going to let me adjust it? So I think that one, on when we were trying on the other car, that, that brought up an error message on ours. So maybe we'll try... We'll try ferry. So if we hold it... Ah, that's it. Go. So, yeah, if you hold hold down on the settings and we can go... We can go up or down. And they're, they're, they're locked at the moment, they're, aren't they? They're both so they're locked. locked. So whatever we do, it does to the other side. So, so that's why we got. Okay, so we'll keep them locked, which, which presumably keeps the front. It should keep the car level, really. Um, what are we going to go for? Let's go minus fifteen and minus That's nine. nine. So should we save that? Yeah. Save right. That. Okay. Now, at that. what point is it going to start making the car go up and down? Let's have a look. Save. Right. Same three. I think you got it. Program. What's the program? What does that do? Right, upload changes to the vehicle. Yeah. So maybe we haven't. It hasn't asked us for ignition. Ignition. Yeah. Let's so maybe, maybe we'll try, try ignition. Okay. Right. Let's try, try program. program. Get ready on the radio, but volume. Operation failed. Continue. So that's E36. So maybe maybe we'll have a get we'll write to the gap. The guys, that, let's just try it a little. So press and hold. Maybe you were too too aggressive. Let's try a mild a mild adjustment. See if it will save that program. Ah, do you reckon it doesn't like it because of that other one? 
Do you reckon because we've got that an error on that one? Less. I don't think so because gonna... we're not trying to load that one. Wow. Well, I wonder if it's it's having kittens over that one anyway. So let's save that one. Um, well, when it doesn't know which one necessarily program. Yeah, because you're on setting three. It's trying to load setting three to your car. Ah, oh, well, that worked. Operation success. Ah, yeah. Well, there we go. So maybe if you've got an error one, it, it doesn't like it. So uh, let's have a look. And I wonder if it's... So there we go. So, so it now tells you you're at minus eight on the front and minus, minus two. two. So default would take you back to back to zero, zero. So let's go a bit lower. Let's go a bit lower. All right. And let's see if, if we can now... Because we... we... That one? Yeah, why well, not? Save. And program. program. Succeed, no. save changes to, oh sorry, yeah, vehicle. Yeah, so it must have been that other one it didn't like, it was too crazy. I think it might be trying to upload them all. Right then, um, so that's it, right. So, okay, so let's, um, when's it gonna, maybe when we start so the car. So we're gonna have to start the car, So do you wanna get out, do you wanna, yeah, just get out, shut the, shut your door, and let me see what happens, just, I'll just start it. I won't, I won't do anything. Try adjusting the, so that's not done anything. I'll go out, 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 i will go out 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 i will so I'm currently in the low rider profile, which was as low as we can get it. So if I just show you what we set that to, so we've got it as low as we can get it. Which is what, minus 18, 18 and, and minus, minus 52. 52. So that's millimetres. And millimetres, yeah. So we've saved that, okay, and that's all good. Now, so that's how it currently is on the car. And if you look, we've set a bit of wood up here and I'll show you. So that's in line with the arch. Okay, and we are, and remember we're in access mode, so we're in the down. So we're as low as we can possibly get this at the minute. Yeah, So and you'd use access mode like in your car park or when you want to get out of the car or whatever, right? Um, so that's what we're going to do. Now, what I'm now going to do is I'm going to set it back to default so you can see the changes. So I've set it to default, but that hasn't changed anything yet until I program it. Okay. Save changes to the vehicle, yes. Failed. Right, it's failed because I haven't put the ignition on. So turn the ignition on. But you've got to leave that E36 error that I had previously. It's because I didn't leave the ignition on. It was nothing to do with the error one. Ian was right. It was, I've got to leave it for like 20 seconds. We just had a little play for it. So let me try and program it now. Right, update changes to the vehicle. Oh, right, I'll try it again. It'll go now. Sorry about this. Program. Yeah, so it's literally just a time since you've turned the ignition on thing, okay? Right, right. so now we're programmed. So, you so won't be able to hear me because we've got to have the car running to do this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start the car, still have it in... Leave it in access, access height mode. and it should change height by itself to the new settings that you that you changed. So we should go up by about, by about 52 mil. Or it should go up by exactly 52 mil, mil I hope. <laughs> There we go, that's gone up, so and I can show you. We're still in access height. We're still in access mode there, so that's the difference that it makes. That's as low as we can get this thing. So you could do the offset. So you could do the offset up or down, but all three settings move the same. But you can have three settings, so you could have a high one, a low one, a super low one. So that is how you configure and change your height on your um, on your Range Rover um, to make it look like you want it. It's probably a better solution. It's a more high-tech solution than cutting the links because you can cut the links and do other stuff. But this one, you can change it all back to default. No one will ever know you've been in there and changed it. So good luck with that.